Welcome back to another episode of uh, Ivy League Addict. We're just out here on another adventure. I'm back at this old camp. It's just on the other side of this knob. I'm back behind it, just exploring around, kind of search around, just seeing kind of what's in the area and just checking stuff out. But anyways, we're gonna get right into it. I come up here and I found this rock with this little cut in it and I found a nave carved in it that's old. And uh, I'll flip this around and show you guys and see what y'all think. So here it is, we got a little line in here and then you can tell there's, that's like an A or a triangle, I can't quite tell. And then right here says Mario. So, and you can tell that's that's been there a long time, but somebody by the name of Mario was right here one day carving that out and here I am looking at it years later and that's just uh, pretty cool to, to be a part of. So anyways, we got a little more stuff down here. You can't decipher it. This is all weather worn and sandstone and it rubs off. So it's kind of just worn out over time. And we got this out here, Alex Z. That looks pretty recent. That's probably just one of the kids here in town that was down here messing around. But anyways, let's go on an adventure and see what we can't turn up today and see if we can't find anything cool to show you. Well, y'all, here we are, we're back. Um, I didn't even walk that far. And I found this little cup with all these rocks stacked up in front of it. I mean, it could be kids. I'm not, I'm not real far from the road, but it, a lot of this rock looks like it's been here for a long time. And then if you look in the back, it, there's a little entrance into it. So I'll flip this around and let you guys check it out and see what your thoughts and opinions are on it. Um, probably, uh, natives would be my guess but who knows it could be a lot of things see it goes that little entrance right there i i guess that's what it is i don't know it's pretty cool regardless of what it is um, even if the kids did work on this i'm sure at one time this was a shelter for somebody because of the camps that are around here Let's get, continue to adventure on and see what we can find today. Well, we're just kind of exploring the cliff line from down there where I found that other shelter. And I come up here and was walking along and I got another shelter. It's a, this one's all fully playing. I'm going to flip this around and I'll let you all check it out. So there it is. Stacked up. Nice and tight all the way to the top. Again, this is probably natives. The face of it's kind of fell, but then there's a little thing up in here and an entrance. So here I am. I'm just uh, sitting on a big rock out here from the shelter. I reached in a little bit, but doing my best not to disturb anything or or harm any of what was left behind and just kind of respect it and so i'm just sitting here enjoying and just thinking i guess um maybe just trying to try to you know picture being here however long ago it was hundreds maybe thousands of years who knows and just try to think of what life was like back then and and how amazing it would have been to live back in those days. Um, I feel like I was born in the wrong generation and uh, I would have fit more in in this time of the world. Um, but anyways, I'm just uh, kind of overwhelmed with emotions today and, and just gratitude for uh, all the love and support I've, I've got already from my last video when I shared a little bit about my addiction and and suffering with suicidal thoughts and depression and losing my wife to suicide. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm overwhelmed really. I wasn't expecting the response I got. And uh, and I got people from Scotland, Sweden, Australia and Spain uh, wishing me well and, and sending love and support all the way from across the world. And, and that's a pretty amazing thing to be able to know that today we can do that. And uh, back then they had no idea that they probably had no idea that Spain and 
all them other countries were over there and they just lived here and lived their life without distractions and focused on fa family, spirituality, and uh, you know, the great creator, the great spirit, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's what they called it to my knowledge. And uh, they were just a very spiritual uh, people and uh, just amazing people. And, and, and they lived off the land and they respected the land and they respected the, the game that, that fed them and gave them life. And uh, it's just a pretty amazing thing to sit here and, and uh, kind of just be a part of history in a way, not, not that I'm there or anything, but I get a, I get to sit here where at one time maybe a family lived in here who knows it's pretty big it was obviously probably used for sleep or maybe a storage for something who knows um just super amazing to to fill it and and be here and uh, that's why i seek out these camps i don't i don't come here to find stuff and take away from anything that they did and anything they left behind i respect what i find and uh it's just uh I come here to seek the peace and solitude that I feel when in these camps. Um, they left their spirit behind and, and their beliefs and the energy is still here and you feel it when you're here. I feel it right now. I feel my heart is at peace. I'm getting the chills right now even just talking about it. It's so peaceful, just amazing, amazing feeling. And, and just to think the people that stood here one day and to think about what they looked like, but they were just so beautiful and, and handsome, handsome men, beautiful women and just good people and, and I would love to be a part of that and I guess in a way I am right now. So anyways, thank you all for the support and uh, yeah, we'll just keep going from here and just see where this takes us. I mean, like I say, I just come out of homelessness a little over two years ago, December 29th, 2021. And when I come out, I spent the new year coming off drugs and I gave my life to Christ on January 9th, 2022 at New Life Christian Center in town, we went there and I was still kicking heroin. I looked like death. There's actually a video of it they have of it. And uh, I was in a bad, I was a broken man. And I and I invited the Lord into my heart that day to clean clean my house and clean his house, really. And he has, and, and he's guided me every step of the way. And uh, that's truly where I found my healing and recovering was through him. So anyways, I just wanted to share that thought. And I respect anybody else's beliefs, so please just respect mine. And, and just another thing, if, if we come into disagreements in the comments, don't spread hate, spread love. Um, we're all going to have disagreements. We all have different beliefs from back backgrounds we grew up in, and we have our own belief systems, but we can still respect others. And uh, please just uh, be respectful to others in the comments. I've seen a couple not super hateful, but in a way, yeah. So let's just spread love. And this channel, that's what I'm here for is to spread love. And I don't want hate being spread through my page and through, through whatever people come in contact through my comments and stuff. So let's just keep it clean and, and uh, be nice and respect everybody else's. And, and I respect all yours opinions and your beliefs and you can believe whatever you want. I can believe what I want and it don't change who we are. Um, I, I tend to look at somebody's character rather than their beliefs. And uh, if you got good character, I don't care the color of your skin. And there's bad people in every every race, and we're not really a race. That's just dividing all of us, and, and we need to stop that division and just live and uh, love everyone for who they are and what they are, regardless of where they are. You know, um, that's just how I try to. And I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to get on here and, and act like I'm perfect, but I do my best to to respect others, and and I, and I get I get angry sometimes, and but I I try not to to spew hateful words because in a way when you spew hateful words out to people you're you're sending poison back into there and all you're doing is bringing hate back to yourself but if you can speak love and and joy and happiness that's what you speak out into the world and you get back what you give so you spread hate you're going to get hate you spread negative negativity you're going to get negativity you spread positivity and positivity comes back and you speak love and love comes back and respect so anyways just a a thought of mine and uh take it as you want um that, that's my beliefs and uh as i said i don't i don't expect you to have the same beliefs as me but i'm just sharing what i believe so anyways we're going to continue to venture on spice just come down to visit you ready to go spice she's got a good little itch going <laughs> it's the most weirdest dog you ever met in your life right there but she's a dog of love and you know, she's never ever been aggressive and she's just a good dog but she is she is weird. I always wanted a hound dog my whole life and I finally got one. 
and I kind of, yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're a different dog. So anyways, we're going to continue the adventure and I'm going to bring you all along and we're going to just see what we can find today and see if we can't find anything cool. We already have, you know, we found Mario's name. Uh, that was super cool. I don't know how long that ago that was put in there, but you can tell it's been a long, long time, probably at least 150, 200 years, at least maybe longer. You never know. And uh, we got these shelters, two of them we found so far, and we're just starting to go. So um, there's just little washes and rock outcroppings all over up here. So there's a lot of stuff to explore and, and you could probably spend a year out here and not even touch it. So we're just gonna go along and see what we find. Well, here we are, we're just still going. And I just found this little cut. It's pretty cool, I'm not sure if it's just natural or was used as a shelter at some time, but it goes back their ways. And what's interesting is right here above, you got like a perfect circle hole drilled that goes back there just a little ways. And then you got another one right here. And then I see another little hole over here. I don't know if it's a little entrance into a cave or if it's just a little teeny, teeny uh, hole. We're gonna go check it out right now and, and see what's going on. It's just a little hole. Maybe natural, may have been put there, who knows. Anyways, we're just gonna keep exploring. We're down here in this wash and you can see all the rock. I was over there earlier. Couldn't find anything that looked out of place or wouldn't doubt that it was used as a shelter at one time though. Well y'all we're still just a going. My buddy James called me from town and he rode out here to meet me so we moved spots a little bit and we were just driving down the road and I saw this kind of cut and we come to check it out and it's a yeah, old, old Indian camp. I got a little pottery I found a and uh, got some flint chippings that James is finding and we got this cut. I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys what we got going on right here. It's pretty cool. Well, here we are guys. We're back out to the little cave me and Chan went in the other day back it went back in there and explored around and we found some like old petrified pine gum you got the smell of pine on our hands it crumbled or i'd show you it was just a little piece but we got a bunch of petrified wood that was back in the cave too all so over too. all over out here we're right here on the front of this rock yeah. all over. where that cross and this is and it looks like there's two r's and X and some other stuff. You just can't read it all. So me and James, we're gonna explore around right here. And I mean, there's so much rock and stuff out here. I'm sure there's more stuff to be found. So we're gonna explore and we're gonna bring you along and see what we don't find. So let's roll. All righty y'all. So me and James, we left that cave and we're just exploring. We actually just kind of found like a little bit of an Indian camp and we're finding little chippings and stuff and heading for this rock outcrop because it just looked like a good place to find somebody and we just found some weird stuff like i'm not even gonna try to to guess of they slept right here. what it is but i mean it, it, it i feel like it's somebody out here worshiping something what it is i don't know but uh that, that's my thoughts uh, i'm gonna flip this around and yeah, this is this is crazy. <laughs> Show you guys. I've never this. seen anything out in the middle of nowhere like. Because yeah, this is a there's no road. I mean, there's a road by here, but it's not close. So. Well, they came out and put fake grass. Down yeah. Too, so you're gonna see. Crazy. There's, there's, there's fake grass down here. They built tables, and I'm just gonna show you. And I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions on this, and uh, just see what you think, because this is a uh, this is crazy to me. I was never expecting to find something like this, but this is why I like to explore because you never know what you're going to find out here. There's an outlet right here too. Yep, so. <laughs> so here it is, you guys. We got the 
We got the grass. Look at this table they built. I mean, I'm guessing that's layers of, it almost looks like foam. Huh, oh, that's, what, that's exactly what it is. So they use foam and then they use this Bursa bond on it. And they made like a, oh, it's a, some kind of table. And they've got wood out here that's kind of bondled to it. No, it's not bondled. It's just sitting on top. Just sitting on top. <laughs> Somebody was living on it. They've got a tree in here. Merry Christmas. So, yeah, Merry <laughs> Christmas. And then there's a, this goes all the way out. I'm not really sure what this is all about. I'd imagine somebody's out here calling on spirits of some sort, would be my guess. Or they were just out here homeless and living here. Yeah. That's about what I would think. With the but there's like, green I would I would picture trash and stuff being here if it's a homeless person. Yeah, but why would they leave it? Fireplace. They probably come back here. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> that's, that's unreal. To me. That's <laughs> just crazy. This is crazy. All righty, y'all. We just left that creepy camp. That that place kind of gives me the eebie-jeebies. I feel like somebody was in here calling on the spirits and uh the mother earth or wiccan or pagan i don't really know it's super uh, it kind of seems like an altar built for some kind of god or goddess um super creepy but we come over to that route rock outcrop over on the other side and i found this little uh cut and so i just wanted to show you guys i don't uh, there ain't nothing around so i can't tell you what it is that I mean you got some old wood in there that wood's been there a long time you got the cut back in here and I mean it's a good shelter and, and even right there below that wood you can see a smoke stain so I mean it's perfect shelter for the Native Americans of old who yeah. lived here and you know maybe what that altar is is something to come here and call on the ancestors I don't know I'm not going to claim to know I can give my opinion. I want to know your opinion, but uh, I was not expecting to find like that today. So anyways, um, we're just going to keep exploring and see what we can find. Well, we're just walking along and I just found something interesting. We got two flat rocks piled on top of each other with like a diamond, or not a diamond, but a triangle shaped sticks crossed. And then if you come up here, by this tree directly behind it. You got rocks, some flat rock here. I'm not really saying what it is, but uh, kind of makes you think a little bit. But anyway, we're just exploring along and uh, well, we're just uh, still going along, kind of heading back for the truck now. And we just come across this uh, survey marker. James actually spotted it. We were, we were just sitting there talking and he says, hey, there's a pole on some rocks. So we, we figured it was a survey stick and we come over here and we got the rocks piled up and the top of it is stamped 1916. So that's pretty cool to to see that. Uh, that's over 100 years old. Yeah, that's and, uh, 107 years old, 108 years old. So that's pretty cool. So I just wanted to share that with you and we're just heading back for the truck. We might find something along the way, but anyways we're just gonna head on so we just found this the rock sitting up there with the rock under it that's not natural formation there that was placed by somebody as a trail marker or something we were just walking almost back to the truck and found this and then there's a little hole up in there i don't know how far it goes back in but it's square and you can see smoke on it how it does it so we're gonna go to check this out and see what's going on in there. Got a fire up in there. Yeah, you can see the black smoke. Well, what somebody was saying is they would burn the rock to heat it up, to break the rock, to mine out. So this could have been something they were just exploring in here. Well, look, it even looks Looking. like it's holes going down. Yeah, it is hollow under well, there. I that fucking caved in, cause it probably did right here. Yeah, and you got that hole back there. 
all righty y'all here we are we're back to the truck found a lot of interesting stuff today and brought you along i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and just help me grow the channel and and get out there and i appreciate all the support i've got so far so just stay tuned for the next adventure because we'll be going on one real soon